This is Malia with Mustard Tree Market. How are you today? I am the creator and coach over here at Mustard Tree Market, and I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint Company and Would You Bend Moldings. There we go. I got that in there. And um, I'm here today hoping you guys will pop on and hang out while I make over this little um, vintage magazine table that I picked up. And I'm hoping that you guys will like what I'm doing. I'm doing kind of a multimedia thing on this and I'll show you kind of what I mean. Um, I wanted to use a couple of different products. I'm using the new transfers and I'm using some Would You Been Moldings and I'm also going to use the silk screen stencil. So it's going to be very multimedia, um, super fun design. Um, I actually have this inspired from a wallpaper that I had wanted to get when we first got our fixture upper home. Um, it was kind of, it's like a mid-century modern dining area. And I looked at this wallpaper to go in there. And I'm using that as inspiration for this. Okay, so this is the little, it's just a little, you know, magazine table, right? And I'm not sure if I'm going to paint the whole thing or not. I'm just going to start right here and see if I decide I want to go on and paint the whole piece. But the wallpaper has tropical leaves and it has really kind of Mediterranean, mid-century modern looking florals um, that are very ornate, kind of look a lot like this. And it also has some printed uh, behind it. So I'm thinking if I did, it has some stuff like this. So I'm gonna put some of these things here just randomly in little spots. I might try some of this one too. This is the silk screen stencil called uh, Botanicals. And it comes with multiple designs. So see, it has like three sheets. And so I'm gonna use some of that. And then I'm also going to use some of the new tropical leaves transfer. I'm not sure how much of this I'll get done on here today, but that comes with different sheets. So it's got this sheet and it has this sheet that's a little bit bigger. And then it has this sheet that's got kind of more of a border piece. And then it's got some cutoutables. Really pretty colors. They're smaller, so they'll be perfect for this piece. You can layer them. And then it has two more sheets. It has this sheet of all the different tropical like leaves, some in gold, and then another sheet. Look at all that. Lots of sheets in one transfer. How cool is that? Sorry, I didn't have my comment swipes the right way. So I'm going to be able to kind of layer these out and get the look I'm wanting with the leaves and the stencils and the transfers as well as would you bend moldings. I'm thinking this guy would be a good, see it's got a floral in the middle, but it's kind of more of a, you know, ornate looking vibe. These are the coolest scenes ever. I love them. I'm thinking something like this. And then this is another little would you bendy, these little moldings. And then it's kind of a wallpaper. It, well, it is a wallpaper that I'm kind of mimicking. And some of these guys. How cool, right? So I've already kind of started cutting out some of these transfers. My paint has not, it's just been applied. <laughs> so I'm a little worried to apply transfer right away. Transfers hate water, okay? So you want to make sure your paint is all the way dry. So I'm kind of going to wait on that for a second. And I think I'm going to start with my silk screen stencil. I went ahead and applied a couple of the moldings. I think this one maybe. I 
and I'm not going to do all of it because then the wallpaper is just kind of like little blurps of stencil in the background. So, and the wallpaper's got kind of a, kind of a, it's a gold, like a dirty gold. So it's a little bit browner than just the kernel mustard. So I'm going to try mixing up a little of this kernel mustard. I'm going to put a little bit of this on a plate. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. In a second. Okay, so I'm going to put some kernel mustard. Ugh. With a little bit of pine cone. Which is kind of a olivey brown. And I'm going to drop just a little bit of that in. On a plate. I'm going to mix them up. See if I can't get a little bit of dirt to my yellow. Yep, that's perfect, actually. Oh, might need a little bit more mustard. I don't know, though. Maybe not. You guys know I'm talking about that color that's in, like, everything mid-century. It's kind of not yellow and not brown and not gold, but it's, like, between those. It's pretty close, right? I think that's about right. What do you guys think? Let's try that out and see what it does. Come here, Chateau. All right. And when I apply my silk screens, oh, geez, I'm making a mess. I use a piece of the Gator Hide sponges. I love these for my stenciling. I really do. I just think they work perfect. So I'm going to cut a little chunk out of one. This is how I do it. I make like kind of a makeup sponge style. <laughs> Cause this sponge is like the perfect level of like porousness or whatever you call that, like tightness of it. So I just cut them like this, okay? So I'll cut this up, you know, a bunch of times, like a little Pac-Man sponge now. <laughs> and I'll cut it up a bunch of times and use that for my stenciling. It works really good. So there's my first thing. Quick tip of the day. And when you use a sponge to apply your paint to your silk screen, it pretty much like makes it almost guaranteed that you won't get too much paint, which is always the problem. And these are sticky, sticky on one side. And you can use them over and over again, um, like a handful of times. I don't know. They say 10 times if you take care of them. So I'm going to have this kind of like rolling off the page. Do I want it to go all the way down? Maybe I do. Ooh. Is that straight ish and the silk screen is going to give you that really 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 precise detail that you want when you're stenciling instead of that you know sometimes gooky mess if you don't know exactly what you're doing mm -mm 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 -mm. all right now i'm going to go on in let's see I use this, this is how I use it, okay? Like that, so that I can get up in these little like corners if I want of my silk screen and not use the whole thing if I want. That's how I do that. And kind of wipe it back so there's not a whole lot on there. But that way, if I don't want to go into that next row, I can like hit that detail really easily.
I wish I could show you guys the wallpaper. But I don't have a great way to do that. It's on a picture on my phone. I was going to buy it when we first moved in and then we changed our mind. And I saw it last night in my phone and I said, ooh, feeling a little inspired by that one. I'm not exactly sure where I want this to cut off. Just want kind of a piece of it. You guys, if you have not tried these silk screen stencils, I pinned a little linky poo in there that takes you to find a local retailer if you've got one or if not, order from me there. Um, you've got to try these. These are the easiest stencils you will ever use. They look beautiful. They have so much detail and you can use them more than once. They've got multiple sheets in the package. Act fast. <laughs> but seriously though, they're one of my favorite new products that Dixie Bell has out by far. So I'm trying to get this like just kind of Sure day went over there. Doesn't super matter, I guess, because I'm having it kind of look like it's fading out. It went over here, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and go with that leaf. Leaf. Ah, uh, heck. I'm all on it now. I'm in it. Committed. No right or wrong, guys. There we go. And if I decide I want some back, I can always, you know, grab the white. I painted this in two coats of silk uh, white cap is the color that I did on here la, la, la. and when you're done with your white your um silk screen stencil and you pull it off immediately squirt it i squirt it with my white lightning bottle spray bottle i have that has a little bit of white lightning in it um or at least vinegar and water squirt it down and I have another one of these sponges that I use to clean it off right away. Just kind of gently scrub it off. And then you want to get it to the sink and rinsed off pretty quickly. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Look how pretty, guys. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Um, what color am I using on the stencil? I mixed... Um, three parts kernel mustard to one part pine cone to make this kind of a dirty, like grungy-ish gold color. All right, I'm going to go ahead and squirt this down. Oh, no, I can't yet. I can't yet because I'm going to use it again real quick. I'm going to put it over here. Once I use it the second time, then I'm going to douse it, like I said, to make sure I don't mess it up. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. And today when I post this on my page, I'll post or I'll post here in the comments the actual piece of wallpaper that this is kind of inspired by so you guys know where my head's at. <laughs> Truth. And I'll post that for you guys. All right, so go back in with my dirty gold, we'll call it. And I'm just going to hit a little piece of this down. I 
And like I said, if you're just popping on, it's going to be super multimedia piece. It's going to have, it has Would You Bend, silk screen stencils, uh, it's got silk for the base color, and then it's going to have transfers on it as well. So a lot of fun. And it's going to look pretty, well, I mean, the wallpaper is kind of mid-century modern, so we'll see. I know this is not a mid-century modern piece of furniture, but why not? See how cool that looks? So cool. Look at the detail. It's so precise. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It kind of looks like leaves, right? I didn't plan that, but it kind of does. All right, I'm going to squirt this puppy down somewhere. Dowser. You should put it in like a pan of water, but I still think you should wipe it off with a sponge a little bit to really make sure you're not going to be stuck with that on there. Okay. Use a little piece of your sponge. You guys like how I've made the blue sponges into like makeup size sponges? <clears throat> All right, I'm scrubbing off my silk screen. Just gently, gently, gently. Okay, gently. That's a mess. I was trying to show you, but it's a mess. Okay. Ew. Get that puppy into the water and get it wiped off. But this, the soft little sponge works really good just to get it scrubbed off with the vinegar water at least while you're waiting because I ruin everything so I had to figure out new ways just to be able to compensate for my lack of <laughs> quickness of cleaning things but look how precise the stencil is Ooh. my lighting but see how precise and detailed those silkscreen stencils are so cool, right? And it shows you that you can also take the stencil that everybody's using and make it look totally your own by giving it a different shape, right? Why not? Why not? Okay, now I'm going to go in on top of these guys and start with the colors. I'm scared to lay some of these transfers down, although I really want to because my paint's pretty fresh. Pretty fresh, but I really want to risk it because I want to show you. But I'm thinking I'm going to put some kind of overlapping on my thing there. I'm going to have some gold pieces. All right, I'm just gonna try one. I'm gonna risk it, okay? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I got my little transfer sticks laying around everywhere, using one to stir my paint. <laughs> Don't throw them away. When your transfer's done, keep these little bad boys. They work really well for like stirs and stirring your top coats and getting them all cleaned up from the bottom. <laughs> They're multifaceted uses. All right, so I'm going to take this little piece of the tropical leaves transfer. That's the, it's just gold. See how pretty? And I'm going to put it right here. And you just kind of push it down with your fingers just gently. Jeez Louise, look how messy I am. Don't do it like this. <laughs> Why I don't paint it white. I'll just ruin it. I'm trying it. And then you just run your little stick across it. You might see it start to lift a little and show a little bit of a whitish. Sometimes you can't really tell, like on this one. Just make sure you get your edges. And then start to pull up one side and do it slowly in case you're starting to lift a little bit. Then you just go right back like that. 
if it was lifting. Now my paint is fresh. So I'm a little bit scared because it's not. A, remember, I told you transfers don't like water. They don't like to be wet. So you're supposed to let your paint dry all the way. So I'm taking a little bit of a risk here in the name of showing you guys. And because these transfers are so amazing, I think I'll be all right. But don't do this at home. Don't try this at home. I'm being really cautious you normally wouldn't have to be since my paint's a little bit fresh like really fresh just to make sure oh I scraped over on my white paint too what was I thinking and it's perfect look at my scrape I scraped my I scraped over it. Look how cute and perfect. Aw. So now I've got more gold going on here. That's pretty much the same as that color that I just made. That kind of a dirty gold. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting some of these little moldings. So I've showed you a couple different things. Now I'm gonna take an artist brush and I'm gonna paint these moldings. And this will kind of give you an idea of my color scheme. I'm doing, the leaves will be in antebellum blue and palmetto. Obviously we got our gold. I'm gonna use some terracotta in my flowers along with tea rose and some holy guacamole. So we're gonna have like blues and greens and then these nice pretty um, warm tones in the flowers. So it's gonna have very mid-century modern color palette. Although my piece is not. All right, so this is T Rose. T Rose. Okay. T Rose is kind of a dirty. <laughs> A dirty pink. What's everything dirty that I use? I make everything dirty. Why? Okay. So yes, there is a transfer there. See it? Very fine lines. I'll show you. See that little bad boy? It's right there. Pretty, right? I haven't burnished the edges down or anything yet, but it's just like little fine gold leaves. And then I'm going to be adding in some of the tropical leaves as well. I'm scared to do it though, because you guys, my paint is not cured or it's not dry. You need to have dry paint. I'm scared, I'm scared. I don't wanna do it and it'd be my fault. Make the transfer look bad when it's my fault on a live in front of all my best friends. That'd be bad. So I'm not gonna do it. So I'm just taking an artist brush and some tea rose. Yeah, you can kind of see. And I'm just going to start painting these bad boys to look very pretty. Let's see if I can't pull it as close as I can. Still be able to see what I'm doing. Um, quick tip, if you want to be able to paint these moldings really easily, since they're like dry, kind of porous wood, um, spray them, spray your brush with some water. That's my vinegar, I don't want that. Just regular water, spray your brush. Like to make it pretty wet. And then when you grab just your little doodad of paint, it goes on like watercolor almost, you know what I mean? Like it goes in all the little crevices. It's a little easier to work with. This will take a lot of time because I like to do things that just are so time consuming. I don't know why I do that to myself, but I do. But 
It'll be really rewarding to paint all these little moldings by hand. But I'll show you the general idea and then I'll go back in and make them perfect, but. You guys, what's the first transfer you're going to try? What's the first transfer you're going to try? Do you know? Do you know? This one would not have been my first choice until I realized that one of my most favorite wallpapers that I've found had tropical leaves on it. <laughs> and then I realized, oh my gosh, maybe I do like tropical leaves. I didn't know it. So I'm determined to make this beautiful concept inspired by that wallpaper using, you know, the transfer that would probably be the last one I would use for my style of decor, which is fun, right? Using something you think you wouldn't like or use and making it into something you really love. That's fun. <laughs> so let's get that there. And then I'm going to go in with terracotta, I think, next. Okay. All right. Now let's grab a terracotta. Terracotta is one of my favorite colors. It's the color of terracotta. And I'm going to use my same brush because I'm going to kind of make it kind of blendy. So I'm going to squirt it with water again. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of my terracotta. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start just doing this. I first hit where I want to be mostly terracotta and then I'm going to blend it out into my tea rose so it looks more natural. I love hand painting the wood you've been moldings. I feel like it makes it look so artistic, you know? I just love the look. You can feel like a crazy cool artist when you paint these, even though you don't like, if you technically aren't, you can still really feel like one. Let's squirt this with a little bit more water. And then I'm just gonna kind of bleed this out like that. Kind of just pulling a little bit of my terracotta up into my petals or tea rose. And then I'm going to take my kernel mustard with my pine cone mix and hit my little center spot. I'm gonna use some antebellum blue, maybe. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> I know it's super loud, sorry. Ugh. Who's excited for the new transfers? Oh. Let's pull some Annabelle and Blue in there. I haven't opened this in a while. And I left it open a bunch when I was doing my kitchen cabinets. So it's going to be a little thick, which will be perfect for this. Oh. I'm probably just going to use the same brush. Wipe it off on my shop towel. Go in with some Annabelle and Blue. Annabelle and Blue. When I was painting my cabinets, 
questionable at best. Kind of like that look of more sparsity on this one. And this one I'm using a dryer brush. Like I wiped off the the water off my brush. So it's like a dryer application, which is going to give me more of a dry brush look as opposed to the kind of watercolor. Can you kind of get an idea of my color palette now as it come in? Is my vision coming through a little bit? These are some of my favorite colors together. I just think they're so pretty together. Are any of the rest of you guys painting with me? Is anybody painting? Can you do me a favor and pass this along so that other people can watch this video if you think it's a good one? Try to show you as many types of multimedias, whatever, that I could with the stencils and the transfers and the would you bins. And kind of show you how I apply them and how together they can still look very uniformed and not super crazy. What you think, what you think? Pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. This is one of my favorite colors too. And I'm just going to use my same brush, wiping it off on a shop towel. Just gonna go in with a little bit of this holy guacamole. Love that combination. I'll bring you guys in close here in a second and show you. But it looks really pretty together, those colors. For kind of the like vines looking, like vines around the floral piece there. Kind of a, it's definitely kind of a mid-century Mediterranean kind of a vibe. I'll bring you in and show you. Can you see the colors there? See how that holy guacamole looks with the antebellum blue? And then the way that the terracotta bleeds out into the tea rose. I think that just looks super pretty. You can kind of see the, the vibe we're going for now. And to me, that botanical um, silk screen stencil looks very mid-century modern wallpaper to me, doesn't it? To me, it looks super... Super mid-century modern, those leaves, whatever they are there, that design, that pattern. To me, it kind of looks, ugh, sorry guys, mid-century modern. Messed you all up there. But I want you to see the colors. So that to me looks pretty mid-century modern. And then I'll go ahead and throw one more transfer leaf on, just show you how that looks. I paint. 
still not. When you feel your paint, if it's a little bit cool to the touch, then it's not all the way dry. You want it to be like room temperature. This feels a little bit warmer on this side. So we're gonna go over there. This is one of the leaves from the Tropical Leaves transfer, the new transfers. We're gonna pull the backing off. And we're gonna figure out where we want it. Lay it down. And it comes with a little transfer stick, which I've now doubled them as this little stir. And with a darker transfer like this, you can really start to see it pop up. You can see that it starts to release by it gets a little bit lighter, it starts to look a little foggy as it pulls away from the backing paper. These are so, so easy to do that, you know, I'm probably overkilling it, but I'm used to regular transfers that you have to really like, you know, burnish them down hardcore. Perfection. Easy peasy. Comes off perfectly. No halo. Look at that. Super, super easy. it. I haven't even burnished down the edges and there's no halo to be seen. Beautiful colors, super easy to apply. It's starting to come along. Like I said, I'll post the actual wallpaper that I'm inspired by that this is coming from. But there's gonna be more leaves. I like this leaf too. It's pretty, right? I'm thinking I might try to make it look longer by overlapping these two. Just try and dry my stencil work. taking all kinds of risks today <laughs> that I shouldn't be doing. That's probably not near close enough to dry to put a transfer over. Mm -hmm. oh, I want to put it over these and they're not dry enough, but I'll probably get off here anyway. It's getting late, but um, I'm probably going to put this like kind of bumper to bumper on top of each other make it look a little bit like longer or something or maybe side by side somehow layer this probably like that and put it on top and kind of layer it over some of this stencil work and then yeah I'll probably add in more of these would you bins somewhere and yeah it'll look really pretty when it's done I promise so I appreciate you guys popping on for to watch me and hang out with me today. Um, please pass this along or save it to your page and try the silkscreen stencils right now. The link right there is, um, takes you right to this silkscreen stencil. And as soon as the transfers come out, grab one. I encourage you to try one that's a little outside your box. It makes it a lot, a lot of fun. Um, message me with any questions or tag me in here and I'll come back and I will try to pick them up and answer them. Bye.